We're home, baby. Hello, New York. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Danielle. I live in New York City and I vlog my life for you guys. Um, I'm back, I'm back in New York City. Welcome to another weekend in my life. It's Friday, I landed back from Tampa this morning and I've been gone for a couple weeks so it just feels so good. I've just been unboxing packages, kind of unpacking, kind of not. Um, just working through it, you know? I'm headed to dinner with my friends Maggie and Kelly. We're going to a place called Charlie Bird in Soho. I'm so excited to catch up with them and just eat some dinner because I do not have groceries naturally because I've been gone for two weeks. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick. I think my Uber's here. Then we're gonna go and we have a really exciting weekend ahead and I will talk to you guys later about that. Here is the outfit for the night. I'm pretty proud of myself. Well, it's a little low rise moment, but I'm here for it and I'm just gonna be confident about it and rock my body because it feels comfy and I just love these pants at the top. I just love it. So we're doing it. Um, this top, it's from the brand Affirm. I'm really liking their stuff right now. Slicked my hair back, I couldn't be bothered. Um, and then I'm wearing these pants from Lioness off of Princess Polly. I got them a size larger so I could wear them high rise because sometimes they're like in this in between. These would look good high, high waisted too though. I don't know, maybe I'll get them. We'll see how tonight goes. Then we're gonna do this bag to tie it all in from Bottega. And yeah, I'm really happy with this fit. I'm so excited to go to dinner and see where the night takes me. I won't be mad if I just end up home after because I could do that and that would be good. But I'm gonna have an open mind and maybe I'll go out, we'll see. back from dinner it was so nice and i decided to walk back in my heels from it was like soho slash west village it was kind of far but it was so nice that's what i love about summer in new york it's just easier to zip places because it's not freezing cold out and everyone's walking like you just feel safer because there's like just a lot of people walking i don't know it was a vibe and then on my walk back, Ryan was like, do you wanna go out tonight? Kind of last minute. He has a friend coming to stay with him this weekend and he didn't think his friend was landing till like midnight, but he's landing like, well, it's 11. But um, obviously like I'm the same way when I have people stay with me, I wanna like, you know, take them to do stuff and you wanna entertain them. So he's like, I think we're gonna go out. Like, please, please come, you know, like trying to convince me. And I don't go out in New York a lot, like out to bars and I do enjoy it. Cause I've like, I, you know, it's a good vibe, but so I was like, okay, maybe. And then I came upstairs and I like took off my clothes and went to change. And I was like, no, I'm, I just got so tired. I'm looking at my un, my non unpacked suitcase. And I don't know, my head started hurting. I feel like I just need to listen to my body and I've been go, go, go. I mean, when I was home, I was relaxing. So, but traveling really does take it out of you. Like I literally was on a plane today. Um, so I was like, you know what, I, like, I'm just trying to get better with my people pleasing. I mean, obviously he's my boyfriend and I love him so much, but like, I was really going to like, you know, help him out and like go like hang out with his friends and everything. And I was like, you know, like, I don't know if I'll be that fun. Like, so if, hopefully this is a good message for you guys. If you're ever like kind of on the fence about going out, I mean, sometimes it is worth it, don't get me wrong, but sometimes when you're just like, then you end up going out and you're like not having that much fun and no one wants to be around you because you're just kind of like tired and you're like, the music's loud. Like you're just like not in the mood. Like I feel like that's how I would have been tonight and I don't want to do that. And I know we're going out tomorrow night and I think we're going to the Comedy Cellar on Sunday. So yeah, I'm gonna take off my makeup and I'm. it's already 11 o'clock. I feel like it's 9.30, but it is 11 o'clock, which makes sense when I'm tired. So I think I'm just gonna take off my makeup, wash my face and get into bed and then wake up early um, and have like a nice morning. Um, and then we're doing something fun tomorrow. Listening to my friend's podcast, Match Made in Manhattan, it's so good. I'm just heating up my Smeg kettle. Gonna make some sleepy time tea. This stuff is so good. It's just so soothing at night. And I swear it works better than melatonin. I like fall right to sleep, but I don't like feel groggy the next day or anything. I'm in my barefoot dreams robe. We've got the bed with my red lights. Gonna turn on my hatch alarm here on a second and have it do like the relaxing music. I'm currently reading the book Every Summer After. 
it is so good it's such the summer i turned pretty vibes it's insane like very similar vibes but on the lake which is why i started reading because a lot of you guys told me to yeah it's just a good setup i'm very very happy with my decision not to go out i just think there will always be more opportunities and i'm tired and i just need to oh i need to put on some moisturizer though tonight skincare we're gonna use this sereni overnight overhaul it's a rejuvenating beauty mask and it just does a ton of stuff for your face <laughs> for your skin should i show her? oh my gosh my skin just looks so glowing just with this on and then i'm just gonna pack some product on i'm gonna use the tatcha dewy skin cream this stuff is honestly incredible i put it on before makeup too and it literally just makes your skin look nice and dewy. And on days that I travel, I like to load up on moisturizer as much as I can because, you know, dries your skin out. Oh, I just feel so good to like be back in my apartment. I didn't realize how much you guys love, I mean I did, but like me not vlogging in New York really affects you guys. It's good to know. Um, everyone's like, I just need ice roller Danny with her red lights. I was like, all right, we've got it covered. Um, all right, I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> day outside I'm sure it's really hot but it's sunny and we're happy about that um, the one of the main reasons that I'm vlogging this weekend is because I am touring apartments ah. if you guys follow me on Instagram I've done a couple Instagram lives and I told you guys there that I'm thinking about moving which is so bittersweet to me because I love this apartment. Like on the, like I love it so much. Like my apartment, I love so much. Like there's really not a lot I would change about it. I'm just not obsessed with my building. There's just some stuff internally that I'm not happy with how they're going. And then also I just want to move areas. I don't plan on living in New York forever. And I want to try new neighborhoods. I've really enjoyed living in the Lower East Side slash East Village. I'm kind of like in between um but i i've been just really flocking to the west side slash fidei area um so i am touring apartments um and i'm really sad about it because i this is like my first new york apartment and everything's perfectly measured for this apartment and everything and i love my kitchen and my bathroom and everything like that um so it's really really bittersweet for me but I just want to be in a different area and I want some different things in my building so we're doing it um the market is kind of all over the place right now there's like a lot there's actually a lot that just became available like the last week or so um, I'm working with the same realtor that I did last year her name's Mackenzie Kyle she's with platinum properties seriously suggest her she's so amazing she's so attentive she plans all the tours for me and it's just nice having a realtor because they are a good middleman for th like the building or whatever unit you're talking to like if a few people are applying but maybe you're the only one that has a realtor I personally feel like it really benefits you because they're like okay like the realtor can speak for their client and they like she makes sure that I have all of my forms ahead of time so like if I tour an apartment and I'm ready to apply like boom I have everything so that's one thing that I do love about having a realtor and a lot of times for a lot of apartments you have to pay a broker's fee anyways and like ryan and his friends for example they had to pay a broker's fee they didn't even use a broker slash realtor so they just like had to pay this money and they didn't even have anyone to help them if that makes sense maybe i'm you know not making sense but that's from what i understand you guys can correct me so i'm like i might as well have a realtor and then like i feel like my money's going somewhere does that make sense 
So yeah, I'm so excited. I've actually already toured a few apartments, but I wasn't vlogging last week, so I took a break after summer in the city. So right after this, I'm gonna cut to those clips so you guys can see the apartments that I've already toured. Um, they were basically, well, I give a rundown in the clips, so I'll go to that in a second. But um, basically the neighborhoods I told her I wanna move to, there's a lot because I'm not, I'm really not tied to one specific neighborhood. Honestly, you just can't because you can't have everything in New York. Like there's just something that's gotta give. Um, so the areas that I am looking at are NoHo, Tribeca, Nolita, and Fidei. West Village as well. However, what I'm wanting in a building West Village doesn't really have. As you guys know, I like a, a luxury building that has amenities, you know, a mail room, like the whole nine yards. And a lot of the buildings in West Village are not really that category, I'd say, which I'm sad because I love the West Village so much. So I thought living near, sounds of the city, that's why I love the idea of living in Tribeca or something because you can easily walk to the West Village, you can walk to Soho, there's just a lot of different routes you can go over there and I just love that area so much. Being closer to the water, like the West Side Highway would be nice. So, and then I also love the financial district. You guys know last year, if you watched last year's apartment vlog, which you sh totally should, or apartment touring vlog when I came to New York with my parents, it was so much fun and I actually toured one or two apartments in financial district, maybe just one. Um, but either way, I really still do love the financial district. It's just a random thing that I enjoy. My only concern about being over there is like none of my friends or no one I really know like lives right there and it's a little bit more south. Um, but there's just something drawing me to Fidei and Fidei just has a lot of nice luxury apartment buildings in my budget because some luxury buildings, I mean, they are expensive, but some are even more expensive because they're also in a nice area. Now that Fidei is not a nice area, but I don't know if I'm making sense. I know nothing, but this is just what I've experienced. So yeah, there's a chance I'll end up in Fidei, Battery Park, Tribeca. Um, I'd love to be in NoHo, but there have been like no buildings opening up. Anyways, that's my scatterbrained explanation. What time is it? Okay. Um, today we are touring three apartments. The first one is in the financial district and then the second two are in Tribeca. So I'm really excited. Um, I don't know why, but I just like, I think it'd be nice to end up in Tribeca because it's like right in the middle, but I'm I'm just seeing, I, I'm a big vibe person and I'm really thankful that I live in New York already so that I can go tour these apartments and if there's a last minute situation, I can just still go because I really like to feel how I do in the space and like lighting is super important to me and everything like that. So as for what I'm looking in an apartment, exactly the same as this, like that's what sucks about it. But um, the only thing that I would like um, is a bigger closet. I've never had like a walk-in closet. I mean a lot of people have them, but I think that would be really beneficial for what I do Um, so my closet is super tiny Um, but other than that I you know Everything that this <laughs> apartment has would be nice. So that's why I'm stressed about this um and yeah, we'll see, but yeah. So it's exciting. Either way, I feel like it's exciting so there's new content and obviously my next apartment, I will literally be taking all of this furniture and hey, maybe it'll be a little bigger and I can add some more furniture or it might be smaller. We're gonna see. Um, so I'm excited. I'm gonna take you guys along the apartments today. But before that, I wanna quickly stop over to my vlog from last week where I toured a few apartments. So we'll cut to that now. All right, you guys, welcome to apartment hunting day one. We're seeing two apartments in the financial district and one apartment in Tribeca. I'm very excited. I've been keeping my eye on these buildings. So I'm really excited. I love the financial district and I love Tribeca. Tribeca would be ideal, but I think there's a lot more options for what I'm wanting in financial district. So I'm seeing a lot of them. I'm meeting up again with my amazing realtor, Mackenzie Kyle. She's amazing like when i decided i wanted to move i was so excited to text her so definitely i'll have her contact information down below she has helped so many of my friends and a lot of you guys have worked with her which makes me so happy she's made the process so easy and she totally gets it and she's just amazing she's with platinum properties um i love her so much so i can't wait to see her it's been a full year around this time last year is when i was touring apartments i'm literally so sad i feel like i'm cheating on my apartment right now but you know you gotta do what you gotta do. So <laughs> let's go. I'm just wearing this little green dress number and then yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I just got back. I toured three apartments. The first two were in financial district and the third one was in Tribeca, but it was kind of like really close to the financial district. So it was more in that area. 
Um, I feel good. That was awesome. Today was kind of like the fight eye Tribeca day, kinda. Um, there's gonna I'm gonna be doing a lot of different tours. That's why I'm like compiling all of this together. But I, I really like Fidei. I love it a lot. The first building was really, really cool. It had a lot of amenities. It had a bowling alley, a golf simulator, which was nuts. Um, and the unit was huge. Um, granted, that specific unit may not be available. All the places I saw were available right now, but like, I'm not taking it right now, but they know that a few others are opening up with that exact layout, like exact, which is really, really helpful to know. So yeah, the first building I loved. Um, I liked the location. Again, I loved all the amenities. It had a lot of amazing things. The unit was really nice. The kitchen was updated and really great. Or I think it's like a newer renovation in the last like five to seven years maybe. Oh, I don't know. And it was just, I just can't get big at the size. Like the living room is like double the size of this right now, which was nuts. And there was like a lot of closets, which was huge. And that's something I don't have right now. And that would be really nice. No walk-in closet, but it was just like two huge ones in the bedroom and then one in the hallway, which is clutch. And the second apartment we toured, I loved so much. I'm like weird and I requested to be like not up to a certain floor. Like one, like I just don't want to be super high up. Not that I'm afraid of heights, and I know the view's better up there, but I don't know, like, the thought of living super high is weird, so I was touring one of their apartments on the lower level, and the view wasn't that bad, and I really, like, it's not like I have an amazing view right now. Um, I can see the Freedom Tower from here, which is cool, but other than that, it's nothing crazy. Um, and it was a corner unit, which was so sexy, and it was just stunning, and the bath, it's great, I love the kitchen. However, the natural light wasn't as good. The natural light was good in the living room and the bedroom, but the kitchen was kind of like dark. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video. They did have a light that I turned on, but I, you, I don't, like this, I have no lights on right now, and that's just kind of my vibe. So that was something to consider. So I really liked that though. That building has, inc I forgot to film it, but they have incredible amenities, like insane. Like that building is my ideal building. It is so nice. They literally like, it smells good. I think they pump stuff through the air vents. It smells like, it's just, it's everything I want in a building. And I really liked the location of that one. The third one I was really excited about because it was in Tribeca and I like how Tribeca is walkable, but this was like super south or I guess very west, should I say, like more west. So it was near the water, which was nice. You get to, onto the West Side Highway, but it was just not in a very comforting area. Um, there was like nothing super walkable within the first like eight minutes, which is kind of like what I don't want. It's kind of what I'm dealing with right now, which is not a bad thing at all, but I wanted to be in a little bit more of a happening spot just because I do live alone. Um, so it's, I just don't know like how I feel at night around there. And uh, I just, I didn't honestly love the unit. It was just like a little, it wasn't exactly what I was wanting, and I just know that there are other buildings that are. So that's kind of what I felt about the three. Out of the three, I could definitely, definitely see myself living in the second one, especially because I'd actually be in a unit like a few floors up, so the lighting could potentially be better, and the, the view might be a little better. Uh, but that's something I would definitely have to double check. And the first one I did like too, but my favorite was the second today. But that's just today, and there's gonna be a lot more. I think I'm doing more tours when I get back to New York. I'm about to go to Illinois for Family Union and then Tampa, but so that was today's tours. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage, and uh, I'll see you guys next time I tour. I don't have groceries, so I ordered buy a bar. This stuff is so good, it's potable, and then I got a green juice as well. I have to eat pretty fast, and we have to go. All right. I also ordered an immunity shot from Biobar, ginger shot, whatever you want to call it. But this has like ginger, turmeric, honey, and cayenne, I think. So it's not just ginger, obviously. I don't love taking them out of these because I'm scared I'm gonna get it on my dress. But ginger shot for touring apartments, woo! <laughs> that feels great. I feel like there's turmeric on my teeth. We're gonna brush our teeth immediately because we don't want to ruin the enamel on our teeth, which apparently happens when you take ginger shots all the time like me. That's what my dentist told me. Here's my apartment tour, OOTD. I just put my hair up. This dress is from Amanda Uppertured. I love it. Big tote bag from Revolve, Air Force Ones. Got my green juice. Let's go. I'm so excited for today. All right, we are back. I toured four apartments today. Well, three apartments in one building. Hopefully on Monday, they have, there's someone that's in the apartment that they'll allow me to see it on Monday, just like with the person's stuff in it, obviously. Oh my gosh, at this point, I guess I've seen 
seven apartments now. Um, I feel really good after today. For sure, there's definitely some good options. Nothing that I was like, oh my gosh, like this is the one. So, um, so the first place that I'm just looking for reference so I can like talk to you guys. I'm gonna overlay the videos as I talk. The first place I saw was in Financial District. They only had a two bedroom for me to see, but they said it's gonna be similar. The only thing that's gonna be different, it's gonna be more of like a square rather than how it was rounded, which I actually really liked. Um, but they said the two bedrooms are like that, but the one bedrooms are not. Um, the kitchen reminded me a lot of my current kitchen. I loved it so much. It doesn't have a real oven. It's like a confection oven with the microwave. Um, but the bathroom was super, super nice too. Um, very my vibe, it was like a huge shower. Um, Closet space was minimal, which was kind of annoying. It wasn't anything bigger than what I have now, which is definitely something I'm looking for. Um, but I really like the finishings. The washer and dryer is not in unit, which is a luxury that I have now. Um, what else was about it? Oh, they do have a roof, right? Yeah, there was a, there was a roof. Yeah, there was a roof. Um, and... Yeah, so that was the first building. I really liked the inside of the apartment. The area was pretty good for Fidei. Um, so that was nice. And then the second building I saw was Tribeca, but like more towards the water, which was really, really nice. I mean, it's literally like gorgeous views. The apartment, I loved the kitchen. Again, you guys know I like have this thing. Whenever I look at apartments, I look at kitchens. I don't know why, it's just my thing. Um, I really liked it how it had like the little like cove situation so I could put bar stools if I wanted um, The view of the water was stunning and um, it's on the west side so I'd see the sunset which is really cool And it's really close to west side highway so I could you know walk along that a lot which is nice um, Yeah that apartment was really nice and then they had a nice roof as well and then the third building I saw was um like Tribeca slash Hudson Square is more so Hudson Square, which if you're not, if you don't live in New York, you probably don't really know what it is. It's like really close to the West Village, I would say, which I liked, and that's like the closest I'll probably get to the West Village. It was nice, it was a little bit pricier than like what I think it should be, except I think you're paying for the location because it's in a really nice area. It was the nicest, actually, one of the sec, it was the second nicest area that I saw. And I'd be walking distance to West Village, and so like it's a nice middle ground. The kitchen was nice. It was like very, it was like all white, which was nice and clean, but I'm definitely more into the browns and neutrals right now. Um, but, and the view wasn't amazing. So it was on like a lower floor. So I'm just like basically like saying what I have down in my notes. Um, all these places had doormen, which was really exciting. Um, and I'm really thankful for that, obviously. Um, and then the last building. <laughs> I love the last building so much. It's in like the heart of Tribeca. It was my favorite area thus far. Thus far. Um, that building though, they don't have a unit for me to see today because um, whatever, but they're seeing if they can get access from the people that live there on Monday. There is an apartment, a one bedroom available, um, but I couldn't see it today. So we just saw like the amenities and walked around the building. There was a pool. There was an outdoor pool there. I was like, what the heck? Price was right in my budget. Um, what else there was a nice lounge there was a nice courtyard there was lots of nice areas the washer and dryer is not in unit as well um but yeah so i did look at a photo of the unit there i did like a 3d tour i really need to see it in person to get a feel it's the least my vibe internally unfortunately like the kitchen's kind of just a little bit more outdated which is fine for some people but for me i just want because i film in my apartment i do everything in here and it's really important to me to have like a specific look like that's just my preference so i don't know so we're gonna see hopefully i'll get to tour that on monday but i don't know i, I might be willing to switch it up a little bit just because the area was so nice and the amenities were great um and i felt very safe there so yeah, so that was the fourth one. So I, I feel good. I might still be touring two apartments on Monday. We'll see. Um, and she also said she might have saw one in Nolita. That is my vibe. Um, so, you know, thankfully my lease isn't up actually till end of September. I got a free month. So my flex, my move-in date is kind of flexible. I'm just starting early. I'm just looking at everything. I'm, even if I'm, I'm, I haven't really, I've looked at a few specific units, but a lot of the places I'm looking, it's like, this is an idea of what we'll have avail available soon, which is still really, really helpful. So yeah, that was a long-winded chat, but I kind of wanted to break it down for you guys. 
as of now, after all the apartments I've seen, it just, I, I'm like struggling internally with like what I think is the most important. Cause like the reason I'm moving is I want to be in a bit of a safer sitch area. Like I just don't feel 100% safe. I feel very safe, but, and you'll never feel 100% safe, I guess. But the buildings that I've been touring, I just feel a little bit safer. I feel a little more comfortable living alone. And I liked the areas just a little bit better. Um, so obviously like that's really important to me, but then also I do film and do everything in my apartment and I wouldn't want to be unmotivated because of that. So I don't know. I think I really, really liked the one in financial district that I saw last week. Um, I had the column, it was the corner unit, it was stunning. The lighting wasn't amazing though. So I don't know, I, I, I would be doing an apartment a few floors up than that. It wasn't that exact one, but it'd be the same layout. I also really liked the one I saw today that had the view of the water. And I liked the one that was all white just because, oh my gosh, my food's here. I am trash and I ordered more Uber Eats. I ordered kava. I'm in my kava era. It's so good and so refreshing and it feels kind of nutritious, you know? So I'm just talking it through with you guys. Comment down below which one you guys like the best. It's just so hard. Like I, oh, oh, and the one I loved. Oh my God, I missed was the first one I saw today. I loved that one. So, and they're gonna let me know if they have any more available. I don't know, we'll see. And the one I saw first today, the two bedroom wasn't that much more. And I was kind of like, I could be interested maybe, and then make the second room an office slash closet. And then like, I don't know, I'm like thinking ahead, like if Ryan and I ended up living together, like he could move in and like split that rent with me. And then like that second room would be his office slash my closet. I don't know, I'm just like thinking really ahead, but I don't know, my dad was like, well, why don't you think about a two bedroom if it was like on the cheaper side, obviously. That's the one good thing about Fidei, you can get a little bit more because it's in Fidei. Anyways, I'm blabbering, but Mackenzie Kyle, she's amazing. I love her so much. She's the best, I'm my realtor. And yeah, that's kind of that. Now I have a whole mess in my apartment. Um, yeah, I need to unpack. I need to move things around. I just need to do some things. So I'm gonna take off this dress, this beautiful dress, I love it. And uh, I already got my hair up, we're just gonna get to town. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna chill for a little bit. It's Saturday obviously and I feel bad because like my friends are like, let's hang, but I need to like just do some things, you know? so I can feel complete and then go from there. But then I'm also like, ah, I could do this all tomorrow because today's the day everyone wants to hang out, but I'm not like in a super social mood at the moment and we're doing something tonight. So yeah, anyways, that's that. Thank you guys for coming along. Here's my kava bowl. A lot of you guys ask me which bowl I get because I have a lot of pre-made ones or not pre-made, but like pre-designed. I don't really know what the word is, curated. But I do the buildable, I do the greens and grains, so I get arugula and the um, rice. And then I do chicken, I do tomatoes and onion, I do the tomato and cucumber, corn, and I add avocado. Because I'm in my avocado era as well. <laughs> and then you get pita with it, which is yummy. Alright, we are headed out for the night. I'm finally leaving my apartment. I got a lot of packing done and unpacking, so that feels good. Um, I'm headed to a band concert tonight for Underground Spring House. They started in Athens, Georgia. Um, Ryan went to high school with some of the guys. So it's kind of a cool situation that they're going to be performing in New York City. So a lot of Georgia people that live in New York City are going. So we thought it would be fun. Um, here's my outfit. I really don't know what to wear. And I was like, this is just happening. This dress is from Princess Polly. I just think it's like fun, cute, summery vibes. I have no idea. I think we're gonna go up to my roof first and have a drink. Bag is by far, shoes, platform converse. I use my Dyson Airwrap. My hair's already falling, but at least it's got some body yaddy yaddy. Anyways, see you guys later. My roof is never this bumpy. Like, what's happening? Cheers. Yes. Morning, you guys. I am ice rolling. I'm eye patching. I'm doing all eye patching. Yeah, under eye patching. <laughs> um, drinking coffee. I actually just got this new coffee. I love my Pike Place decaf coffee, but 
when I was home, I was talking with my family and they were, we were talking about decaf coffee and apparently with a lot of decaf coffees, there's a chemical that's used to basically decaffeinate the coffee. And I, as you guys know, have been drinking decaf coffee every single day and they were kind of saying like, technically regular coffee is a little bit better for you in that sense because there's no chemicals. Like there's a chemical that decaffeinates the coffee bean, but there are some coffees that they do it in a different way that there's no chemicals involved. So my dad and I did some research and this one's called Life Boost. Um, we like bought it. I bought it off of the website, not on like Amazon or anything. I'm trying right now. It's really good and it makes me feel better about like what I'm putting into my body. Because I heard there were chemicals involved. I was like, ugh. And not to mention, I mean, I definitely eat a lot of things that have chemicals involved, unfortunately, at times. Like, we all do, I'm sure. Um, but I'm trying to be more conscious about what I'm putting into my body, like, slowly. And, uh, yes, yeah, so that's just one change I'm making. Hopefully that inspires you guys to kind of just look into, if you drink decaf coffee, like, how it's made. Obviously, if I go to a restaurant and I order decaf coffee, like, I'm not going to ask, like, how the decaf coffee's made. But when I'm at home and I'm drinking it every day, I can control that. Um, I'm in like a randomly chipper mood because, I don't know, I was just feeling, I really want to walk into an apartment and be like, this is it. So today I'm planning on basically walking back to some of the areas of those buildings that I was at yesterday because I really like some of them, but I want to like, I, we were going from place to place. So I didn't get to like walk around the area. Um, again, something I'm thankful I'm able to do because I already live here and I have the time. It's a Sunday. So I'm going to walk around some of those buildings just to kind of feel out the vibes and like see if that's, you know, because that's a big reason I'm moving. Then I was just feeling like a little, like, I don't know. I just still like haven't had that it factor. Like when I walk in, like when I walked into this apartment, I was like, done deal for the most part. But I haven't had that. And so literally every morning I go on Street Easy which is funny because I literally have a realtor and she's amazing, but I just like, I'm over go. Like I need to see it for myself. And I found this one and it's exactly what I want. And I happened to see that they have an open house today from 12 to 1.30. So I immediately texted Mackenzie. I was like, can we get an appointment today? Like, I'm so sorry to bother on a Sunday. And she's working on it right now. And I really hope I can go see it. The only thing that makes me nervous about an open house is like, I assume other people are going to go be looking at it. And I feel, I mean, just off the photos and the floor plan and everything and the location on the map, like, if I go see this, I will literally put an application, like, right here, right now, because I, I just have this, like, feeling that I haven't had yet. I don't know. It just opened up yesterday, so that's why I think Mackenzie didn't see it. <sighs> So I'm like freaking out, but I'm trying because I am such a person that I put all of my eggs in one basket. So I'm a little nervous, but I really just hope it works out. And if it doesn't, then I'm not meant to live there. That's that on that. But right now I'm just sitting here jacked up on my decaf coffee, praying that she can get a hold of the building and get me in because ah, I'm like serious. Like, cause it says like open house by appointment only, but I'm like, if they don't answer, like I'm just gonna go and say, let me. I'm psycho, okay? Anyways, that's what's up. I th Last night was really, really fun. Um, got to see so many people that went to Georgia. I literally felt like, because this band used to play at all of our sorority and fraternity date nights um, called Underground Spring House. So it was just so funny. Like some of the guys came in there like wearing their fraternity shirts. I'm like, I am in college right now. And in the best way, it was so fun. It was at this like barbecue bar thing. So it was cool. Anyways, hopefully I'll have a good update for you guys soon. But yeah, Ryan and me and his friend are gonna go, my friend do, <laughs> are gonna go get bagels soon, I think. <sighs> I'm nervous now. Okay, I just talked to Ryan. I'm gonna shower, put on just like a chill fit, and go get a, a bagel. Gosh, I'm like just over here freaking out. Like I just need to know if I'm gonna get an appointment at this place. And also, I'm gonna be like sizing everyone up in there. Like if there's other people there, I'm like, you, you serious about this apartment? Like, and I need to stay chill. I don't want to be like, oh my God, I love this apartment because, okay, I don't even have this appointment yet, so let me just chill. I have updates. Okay, all right, so she said, she said, so I spoke with the agent and she ex is expecting chaos today, but you can definitely go and it's possible, if possible, try to arrive on the earlier side. And I said, OMG, that's terrifying. She said, there's two units available. For apartments like these, it's always a madhouse. There's two units, so. At least there's not just one everyone's fighting for, 
but and there's one that's on a higher floor which i don't really want a higher floor so she was like the higher floor will probably go first and she's trying to get the application so i just like apply before i even get there it's not i mean you just have to like i think you have to pay usually like twenty dollars or so to apply for an apartment so i'm gonna try and gather this is my fault because Mackenzie gave me everything that I needed ahead of time and I have been a little lazy and didn't collect it all but it's really easy I have to get like bank statements and stuff like that I'm gonna try and collect this all right now once I eat my bagel and arrive there early which means get there in an hour and a half and hopefully apply before I'm like gonna bring my computer like a hundred percent so that's where I'm at right now because I just have this like feeling and I haven't had this feeling yet so I'm just like stressed because there's gonna be other people there and she said she's expecting chaos. Oh my gosh. This is New York City apartment hunting people. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I need to like look presentable, right? Like <sighs> bagel is gotten and I'm going through my application right now. All right, we're headed to go see my potential dream apartment. I just got the application, so I'm gonna fill it out in the car. Someone's here. Oh, hi. How's it going? <laughs> Uber's about to be here. Um, I literally just got sent the application for it. So I'm going to like use my hotspot in the Ooh. Uber and, and fill it out. Ryan's going to come with. Uh, yeah, he wants to see what it's... You've never toured an apartment ever, uh -huh. right? Yeah. This is my outfit. I told Ryan he had to wear a shirt. <laughs> I'm like, this means business. So I'm wearing my Kim Kardashian dress because she's a boss. I'm going to get this. I'm going to bring my computer. Got my big tote. We're going to get this apartment. Hopefully I like it. But I'll have some photos. I'm going to like it. Let's so. go get it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so much is happening. The apartment was literally perfect. It's so... <laughs> I need it. It's very, very similar to this, but the area is amazing. The building is amazing. The people that work there are so amazing. The area, I just, I can't, I felt so safe there. I felt so good. Like, <sighs> basically, we got there early, which I'm so happy. So we were the first per people to see it. I submitted the application before I got there just to make sure it was in. You just like, like I said, you eat like 20 bucks. And she was like, I'm gonna be honest with you, someone else has filled out the application, but they haven't signed the lease yet. And whoever signs the lease first, like, gets it. And so I literally came home, I made sure everything was possibly in, and now I just need to wait for the lease, and I think I'm literally gonna take this, because it is great, it is perfect, it's just more so, like, the air, like, everything was just aligning, everyone that worked there was just so, like, the vibes were just right. <sighs> So as long as I get this lease and I sign it before the other person, like I'm in, I think. Like I'm literally in. So we just need to make this happen. Who knows? I'd be getting an apartment today. <sighs> Heart rate is high right now. <laughs> I'm just like, stay calm, Danielle, drink your kombucha. And the only thing is when I toured it, I, I don't know if I should show the video or not because it was like someone lives there right now. So all their stuff was everywhere. <sighs> okay, so that's the update. Okay, I still haven't heard back, but I need to like do something else so I stop thinking about this. Um, I am going to, oh, I just got a text. <laughs> Me constantly. Oh, my realtor, you've done all you, you've done all you can and now it's in the hands of the universe. I'll let you know as soon as I have news. <laughs> She's so nice. She has to be like a therapist at the same time. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm like, I'm gonna clean, but like, I can't even clean. I'm gonna listen to a podcast, I'm gonna make my bed, and we'll start from there. is very clean I cleaned all the countertops I put the stuff in the dishwasher cleaned my table I vacuumed this area is a lot cleaner this is my little Hamptons situation um, I've got some clothes over there that I need to put away 
But other than that, doing really well. Still haven't heard from the apartment building. Getting stressed. I'm like, does this mean that the other person signed? But like, they need to let us know, you know? But they probably got a ton more applications after I toured. So I'm just like, send me the lease, send me it. But yeah, I'm also, I have this big toiletry bag that I'm filling up with like basically full size products for the shower at our Montauk house. Cause obviously I'm just taking a car there. I'm not flying so I can bring all this. Um, I have to pack hair tools and stuff, which I'll do probably tomorrow. Cause I'll be here tomorrow too, but I feel really good. I also, I've never washed my shower curtain this is like the liner so i have like a really nice white linen shower curtain from brooklinen so i took that off and it's in the wash right now i used this amazing stuff the glamorous wash then i also used this branch basics oxygen boost i used it it's supposed to whiten and brighten i used it on my sneakers and it looked really good so that's in the works. It's just looking like a little a little gray, which I didn't like. Um, I need to take this suitcase down to my storage unit. I have to return a fashion pass order. This is all the Gals in the Go stuff for when we record in Montauk. And tomorrow I'm gonna go to Vivrel and switch out my purse. Looking pretty good. All right, we finally have an update, a small update, but we will take it. Um, the lady that I met today at the building set texted my realtor and said that the guys are processing all the applications and will get back to us. So that's just, this is just taking me back to college applications and I don't like that feeling. She told me it was basically like whoever does it first, but then if they're waiting, like I am pretty sure I was one of the first people to submit application. I mean, maybe I wasn't. Shoot, I don't know. But if they're going by that, hopefully they'll just like, I, I don't really know. I don't know their process. Like, I don't know. I, I sent them more information than they needed. So hopefully that'll help me out. But at least I know that they've seen my application. So we wait, but I don't wanna put all my eggs in one basket. Sorry, you guys are probably so done with me. And by the time this video's up, I should know something. So that'd be really sad if like all this was for nothing, but this is just how it goes, you know? There will be more. All right, I've been doing some work here now. I'm getting hungry. It's four o'clock. So this is like a lunch slash dinner. This is literally all I have, but I don't wanna spend money on food right now. Um, cause I do have some stuff. Always keep frozen veggies in the freezer. It comes in handy. I'm like so happy at Pastinho for buying this. So I'm gonna make some broccoli. Got some bonza pasta. It's made out of chickpeas. So it's got a lot of protein and fiber. And then rouse or rose, um, vodka sauce. We're gonna chef it up. Facial. <laughs> Ta-da. Yummy. My shower curtain just finished. I just hung it back up. I dried it for a little bit, but I didn't want it to shrink. So I only did 40 minutes and then I took it out to dry the rest. It's pretty much dry. It's like a, it really is dry actually. But I don't know if you guys remember, I didn't show it before because it was pretty gross, but I think it looks incredible now. So the beauty of washing your shower curtain. I mean, not all shower curtains can be washed, but since I have like this linen material, it was really easy and I'm happy I did it. All right, it's a lot later and I feel like today has really turned into one of those Sundays where I get a lot done. Like I'm literally packed for Montauk, which is awesome, except for like my toiletries, which I'll throw in later. So that feels really good. I can really just do some other stuff tomorrow and then we'll be off on our way on Tuesday. Haven't heard anything about the apartment at this point. It is Sunday evening. I don't expect to. I really expect to hear something tomorrow. So crossing the fingers. But I'm also like, I was gonna tour some apartments tomorrow, so I'll have to talk to Mackenzie in the morning if like we should. I, I feel like I still should in case I don't get this. I don't really know. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, I think, but I decided I'm not gonna show you guys the video of the apartment I want, which is so annoying and I understand that. But the person was still living there and they weren't there, but all of their stuff was everywhere. And I feel like that's a total invasion of privacy and they definitely didn't sign up to be on YouTube and it was already so nice of them to let me in to go see it. So I'm so sorry, but I'm not going to include, I'll try and like include screenshots from my video or something like of the kitchen so you guys get an idea, but that's why you haven't seen the actual apartment tour of that one, I'm sorry. But anyways, I forgot to mention earlier, we're going to the Comedy Cellar tonight. I haven't been in a little bit, so I'm really excited. Um, like I said, our friend's in town and obviously we have to take him a comedy cellar. So we're gonna go, it's a little Sunday night activity. I'll get a little, little hair there. Um, but yeah, that's how we're going to end the evening. 
I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're gonna go into the eight o'clock show and then I'll get back and it'll be nighttime. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you're all enjoying it. And I guess you guys will have to stay tuned to my next vlog to find out if I got the apartment or follow me on social media. Maybe I'll post there at Danielle Carolyn. Um, but yeah.